Strong two club bit. Today we're going to talk about when do you open a strong two clubs and when do you not, okay? The idea behind a strong two club bit was, was that you had a hand that was so strong that you didn't want to take a chance on partner passing. Now everybody knows, I assume, that if responder has at least six points, they're going to bid. So if I open the bidding and responder has at least six points, they are going to bid. It's true, if the opponents bid, they're kind of off the hook. They don't have to bid with six points, but what happens then? I get another chance to bid, right? So the idea in a strong two club bid was that you only were within like a trick of game if you were unbalanced. And if you were balanced, you had a hand that you could not express by bidding one no trump, two no trump, or three no trump, okay? So for instance, let's take that situation first. Here is a hand. You have 20 high card points. So what would you open? You're three, four, three, three. So you would open two no trump, right? Two no trump showing 20 or 21 high card points. Let's do this. Now, you have 22 high card points. So do you still open two no trump? Well, of course not, because if you do, partner's going to say, oh, she has 20 or 21 high card points. And if they don't have at least five or so, they're going to pass. And you can actually have the value for game even if they have only three or four points, right? So what you do is you start with two clubs as your opening bid. Partner's going to respond. And then when you bid no trump, the message is my hand was too strong to open to no trump. Okay? Clear? Okay, the second type of hand you might have is what we call a suited hand. Here's one. This would be a hand what we call eight and a half or nine playing tricks. Now what the heck does that mean? Well, let's see what you need for game. You have seven spades and you have the ace, the queen, the jack, and the 10. You have the king, the jack, and the two of hearts, the ace, king of diamonds, and a singleton club. So that's 18 high card points. I might need to give you a little bit more, but we'll go with this for now. But the idea is, what do you need from your partner? What does your responder need to hold for you to be able to make four spades? How many losers do you have, or how many winners can you take if you are playing in spades with spades as trumps, even without anything from partner? Well, we have seven spades. We have the ace, the queen, the jack, and the 10. So I have six spade winners, don't I? And in diamonds, I have two diamond winners, the ace and the king. And what about hearts? I have one, or maybe a half of one. It depends who has the ace, who has the queen. Six, seven, eight, and a half, or six, seven, eight, nine. Eight and a half, or nine playing tricks. What do you need your responder to hold for you to be able to win 10 tricks? Okay, so let's think about that. Suppose your responder had the queen of hearts. Well, now we could say that we'll lose one spade, one heart, and one diamond. If the only card that responder had in their hand was the queen of hearts, would they bid if you opened one spade? No, that's only two points. They'd pass. So you might miss a game. What if your responder had the ace of clubs? Oh, that'd be good. What if your responder, it doesn't assure that you can make game, but it would be give you an entry to dummy to leave towards your hearts or towards your spades. If, we par if partner had the ace of hearts, that'll make sure that we can make game because now we have six spades, the ace and king of hearts and the ace and king of diamonds. If your partner had the king of spades, 
Seven spades, two hearts, and all we have to do is figure out how to get a heart, uh, excuse me, seven spades, two diamonds, and all we need to do is figure out a heart. If your partner has just the king of spades and you open one spade, they'll say pass. If your partner has just the queen of hearts and you open one spade, they will pass. So you have a hand that doesn't need very much from your partner at all to make game or have a very good chance for game. You just need a little something. That's the idea in opening two clubs on a one-suited hand that has the potential to win a lot of tricks, okay? So that's another instance. Another hand might look something like this. I'm just gonna do one up here real quick before we get to the last one. this way. So that's 4, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so that's a hand we can't open to no trump because we're unbalanced. But gosh, we have 22 high card points. So that's a hand that we might open two clubs on. A hand that's so strong that we need to make a bid that forces partner to bid again. Now, let's go back to that eight and a half or nine playing tricks. I don't know if you can see this one or not, but I hope you can. This is very similar to the hand that we put up in North. The difference is, is that I gave you a minor suit. Well, game in a minor, is the five level, right? So that means that partner would have to have enough value to keep you from losing two tricks. If partner had the king of spades and the ace of diamonds, the ace of clubs, they would bid. If they had the queen of hearts and one of those aces, they would bid. If they had the king of spades and the queen of hearts, they even might bid, right? So we don't have to open this hand, the bottom hand, two clubs, to find out something from partner if we have enough for game. More people make the mistake when they start learning two clubs of using it at times when they shouldn't. You see a big hand, you say, oh, I'm gonna open two clubs. It's a very specific hand. It's a hand that what you're interested in more until you get that 22, 23 points, is do you have a fit for me, partner? How many tricks can we win? So we're gonna look at some hands tomorrow that illustrate those points. And we'll talk about responders bit. See you then.